Well, it's now been uh, more than two months since the first baby was born. I think we're about uh, two and a half months. And uh, as you can see, they're very, very healthy and very happy babies. It's been quite a journey for us for these first couple of months because the babies have been uh, through a few dramas, a few traumas. And I must admit, some of those dramas were probably exaggerated a little bit by our you know, nervousness at having the babies and not wanting anything bad to happen to them. But I think in retrospect, we can safely say that uh, pretty much the mothers know what they're doing and it's just up to us to give them that little bit of help and make sure that, uh, and no harm comes to them, that they get plenty of milk and that they're, uh, they're gonna grow up into healthy babies. And of course, looking at them now with this, uh, you know, this little playing in the shallows there, which they do every day, uh, you, you just got to say, wow, this has uh, been a wonderful journey for us for this, the breeding of these first couple of babies. We bring them down here to the lake four times a day so they can uh, swim, cool off, and of course get some exercise. Very important at this age that they, they uh, get lots of exercise to strengthen the muscles and, and also learn the experience of enjoying each other and the and the water and all the other things that go with being a baby elephant. So it's pretty wonderful to watch them here. And I think that uh, as you'll see in this video, we're going to show you what it is that baby elephants do that they like to do when they're babies. And I think it's going to be uh, quite a bit of fun. Always in a playful mood, aren't you? Yeah? I think that would hurt, but actually it doesn't hurt at all. The mouths are actually quite soft. Yeah. If that was a little baby tiger or something, they'd probably chew holes in my arm. But elephants, their mouths are very soft, surprising. Oh. But they're so strong. <laughs> as soon as I turn my back. As soon as I turn my back. <laughs> <laughs> they're so funny and they're so, uh, you know, so playful. I think they're uh, really, really amazing. I didn't think I'd get this much fun out of these babies, but I must admit I'm like a kid with a new toy myself. They're so sweet. And it's funny, we have people come here and just stand here watching them. We had a woman the other day, a Russian lady actually, and uh, she came here at 8 o'clock in the morning, first in the park, and she left at 7 o'clock at night. She just stared at the babies for hours and hours, <laughs> as you can do. They're actually very distracting when they don't get much work done anymore. We sort of almost wish they stayed this size forever because they're really quite sweet. Make a nice household pet. I want to be a very big household. Because if they wanted to go through the door, they'd just go through it. She's going to try and sit on me now. <laughs> Okay. She's totally exhausted herself. I mean, these uh, babies are like, much like any children, any babies anywhere. They love to play, they love to experiment. They're learning how to use their trunk. They're uh, learning how to get on with other elephants and socialize. But like all kids, like all children, they wear themselves out and uh, they then need to just lie down and just bomb out. and they. Amazing how much they do bomb out. They're almost oblivious to me being here. And uh, they really are really good. She knows I'm here. She's had a little sneak look at me just to make sure I'm not in any danger. But of course, she knows me pretty well. I've been with her since she was uh, a baby, since she was born. She knows my voice and she knows my smell. So she's totally and completely relaxed. Skin's now got quite a bit more hard than it was when she was little. The hair has become a bit more coarse and she's got a lot of hair on her but the other baby's actually hairier but she's uh, coarse one of the strange things is if you have a look here the trunk it almost looks small yeah look at the trunk it doesn't seem very big yeah it actually seems quite small however when they're up and they expand it that trunk can stretch right out to here it's actually almost like a telescopic 
but at the moment it looks really quite tiny. Yeah, it doesn't look very long at all. I just love that little trunk. So sweet. A little, in the end of it, this little one finger there. Now this was an African elephant. There would be two fingers here. This is what they call the finger. If there's an African elephant, they have one on this side too. So an African elephant can pick up like that. A Sumatran elephant picks up like that. Now, very, very different. This is the Asian elephant trunk. And that little finger becomes incredibly strong. Just like a finger, they can, you know, grab and do all sorts of things with it. And it's still, still very soft now. Very sweet. Quite amazing. A tiny little thing, right? little holes in. I can feel the air just gently going in and out. There's, it's blowing out the air on my finger there. I'm taking a lot of it. She's got her eye open again looking at me. That's it. There you go. Up there. You had enough snooze? I'm not going to lie now. No, that's it. It's interesting to see her feet now. When she was born, these feet were like very soft pads. Now they're still soft, but you can see that the callousy part is there. They're actually very sensitive. See how she moves her finger when I touch them? She can actually feel that quite easily. These are like a huge sponge pad. And in actual fact, her toes inside there are like that. They're not like that. They're, they're actually standing on their tippy toes. They're, they're, the start of them is up here, so it's sort of like that. And this, this pad, as you can see, is starting to get wear and tear to it and callous itself up, which is what happens as they get older. Eventually it starts to get cracks and, and lines in it, and each elephant's foot has a totally different print to another elephant's foot because it's, uh, it's uniquely their fingerprint, so to speak. It's interesting, their tails. At the moment, this is very fine, this hair. It's quite quite soft, but that will eventually grow very, very thick, and it all begins, almost uh, is like plastic on an adult elephant. Yeah? It becomes very long and quite coarse. Have a look at a, a mother, for instance. Have a look at her tail. Very, very different. And she's not going to give me a tail. If you look at it, it's really very coarse. Hair and it's it's not like hair, it's almost like almost like plastic. <laughs> He's gonna have a pit on me now. <laughs> ah, never stand behind an elephant. <laughs> if they don't piss on you, they'll crap on you. <laughs> He's a lot hairier, isn't he? Huh? He is. What a hairy little guy. Much longer his hair. Look how long it is. Yeah, mate. Very different shape he's got, yeah? Not only is he hairier, a lot hairier, he's quite long his hair. But he's also he's got these very, very long front legs. It's quite a quite a different elephant to uh, the other girl. But look at the hair on him, it's, it's, it's actually quite soft and long. Of course, as they get older, his hair begins to drop away a lot. It won't, won't remain like that. But uh, if you look at his mum, she's actually got quite long hair too. Yeah, to think that we, uh, you know, just a few short weeks ago, we were so worried about this guy, we uh, weren't even sure that he was going to make it. You know, his mother was not being cooperative, he wasn't getting a lot of food, we were having to bottle feed him. I mean, every problem you could think of he had, but if you see him now, you realise it was all very much worth it. That he's, he's such a beautiful guy. Hey, he's beautiful. They're a strange... A strange creature, strange to look at, and in some ways strange to understand, but they are really, when you see them like this, you realise these are really, really special animals. They're, they're so unique, and um, you know, it's at times like this you, you think to yourself, I'm so glad I got involved with elephants because they really do need our help and support and, and protection because they're, you know, if they were ever gone from the planet, it would be a massive big hole in the in the you know in our lives because these are really fantastically unique animals that uh, you can't help but love <laughs>